The following video clip will give you a guided tour of the PX6i components. The PX4i has the same type of mechanism, with the exception of the locking lever near the print head lift lever. The media supply post holds the label roll. It can be equipped with an adapter to accommodate 3 inch media cores. The PX6i uses two of these adapters for a 6 inch wide media roll. The liner take-up hub receives the media liner when the printer is used in batch take-up or peel-off print modes. The slack absorber takes up any slack in the media as it is pulled from the media roll. It also has edge guides to align the media as it moves into the print mechanism. The ribbon supply post holds the ribbon core and can be adjusted for different media widths. The ribbon take-up hub receives the used ribbon and maintains ribbon tension. The bobbin is used to adjust the supply hub for the different widths. The print head lift lever raises and lowers the print head for media loading. The head pressure adjustment raises or lowers the pressure on the print head to adjust the darkness of the printing. The print head locking screw is used when adjusting the pressure arm location. The pressure arm, when adjusted correctly, provides an even pressure across the print head to ensure complete printing of the label. The upper and lower media guides guide the media through the print mechanism. You should ensure the media is loaded between the guides. The label stop sensor detects the gaps in the media to stop the label for tear off. The label taken sensor determines when the printed label is removed in peel off mode. The front panel of the printer has a keyboard and display which are used for data entry or printer setup. It also contains the status LEDs to give you indication of printer operation. The print button is used to feed a label or pause a print job. It can also be used to reprint the last label printed. The back plane contains the on off switch. It is also where you find the serial number, configuration number, and MAC address if you need to call technical support. Thanks for watching. Look for other support videos as they become available.